Hey guys, this is uh, Chris again, coming at you with another video. Um, today's topic, like I said, is what happens when we get our grill? I've gotten my grill, as you know. I got my Zenith. El Primero, I still love this thing. Love the movement on it. But I've gotten this, and I've gotten a lot of other short-term grills. Like, I've gotten the Zen, I've gotten the Doxa other stuff like that um and basically now i'm still looking for more pieces to buy and that that's that's my question is are, are as collectors or as enthusiasts are we ever going to be happy with our collection are we ever really going to be happy with our collection and where it stands quick response check by the way i'm wearing that omega seamaster but basically, like with the Zenith, that was a long time ago. As you know, I, I, I've been wanting that for like five, six years, something like that. And then I was lucky enough to attain it earlier this year, this past year. And I got that and I got my Omega. Never thought I was going to get an Omega. But now, even after I've got my Grail, I'm still looking at other Grails. Like I'm looking at Blanc Pond, of course. I'm still looking at that 50 Fathoms. I am looking at the... Of course, long term, way, way, way long term. I'm talking like closer to like probably like 50 years old. I'm like 35 now, so I got a long time. But I'm, I'm looking at possibly getting a BC overseas, the three hander. I'm looking at getting that. That that might be my end all collecting watch. Maybe, maybe not. But my question is, when when does it end as a collector? Like, like I said, as far as Going into the hobby, you know, you start out buying Seiko. You, you saw my last vlog. I bought an um, Orange Monster with my first watch, first serious watch, and that's the first one that got me into watches. But as far as that, like, where does it end? You know, it goes on from there. Then you get other more expensive Seikos, Orient. You get, you know, all kind of different brands. You get Zen. You get Doxa. You, you go in the entry level luxury, you get Oris, you get Zen, you get Doxa, you get all those other brands. But where does Zen is it, it just keeps building up and up and up. Like I said, that's this is my question to you guys. Where does the hobby does the hobby end for like a true enthusiast, a true collector? Like we're always looking for that perfect watch. And actually Bear Clooney has the perfect channel for that because he buys all his own pieces and everything and he is good, good people. He's got a great collection and he there he's right. There's always something wrong. Like even with this Seamaster, even though I wear it all the time, I love this piece. Dare I say almost as much as my Zenith. But the only thing I really don't like is the elephant in the room, as everybody always knows, is the healing the skate valve. And that's the only thing I really don't like on the Omega. Other than that, it would be a make a perfect watch. I mean, it's such a versatile piece. I mean, I've been hopping in the pool and you know, off and on all day today. Still have since, so I've been you know lucky to have a pool over here and hanging out over there. But um, you can wear that in the pool. You can wear it wherever. I mean, it, it's such a versatile piece. And like I said, with the Zenith, like I love that piece. And that piece and the Omega will always be in my collection, no matter what. But as far as, like I said, now I'm looking at other pieces. I'm looking at the Blanc Pond, the 50 Fathom Ceramic. It, it's, it's like you go down that rabbit hole, as I said before. You go down the rabbit hole, and it's just, you know, one piece after another, and then you get more and more expensive. You know, after the Blanc Pond, like I said, will probably be the Vastron. And the, both of those will probably be, the Blanc Pond will be more, more probably hopefully by the end of this year. I'm hoping to get that one. That's what I've really been saving for. I've got my eye on a couple other pieces. It, it, it's like Mark Goldberg says, is, is it an addiction or is it an illness? It, 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 I don't know. Like, I think we get addicted to buying. We get addicted to different, you know, we get addicted to that high, I guess, of, you know, getting a new watch, enjoying it for a little while, and then we get used to it. And it's not like it's mad because I still love the, the Zenith and all that. But like with the docks, so like the 300T, like I love that watch, but I think I'm about to sell that watch. That was kind of like always like a mini grail of mine. I never thought I'd get that one either, but I really want a 1200T. So I'm kind of on the fence about selling that one. I'm thinking about selling that one too. But it's just like once we get it and experience it, it's like where we want something else. 
Do you guys feel that way? I was just curious. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know. But um, yeah, like I said, basically just save up for your grail. See what you like. Try it on if you can. Try it on. And that's basically about it. Like I said, I just wanted to do a little video about, you know, grails. Like we keep going on and on and on about our grail. And then we get our grail and then we want something else. I believe it. Uh, really good uh, re introspective uh, channel is um, Jeff McMahon. He has a really good, you know, insight the hobby, what we think is hobby, you know, as collectors and all that. If you want to go over and check out his channel, he does a pretty good job of explaining that. But uh, anyways, guys, I'll leave you back with that. Like I said, I just want to do a quick little vlog, just kind of, you know, my thoughts and opinions on grails, like, we, we set that grail and then we get it and then we set another grail. Like are, are any of you guys ever really happy with your watches that you get when you get them? Like I'm happy with the Zenith, but I still want more. I mean, is that just like a collector thing? Am I just crazy or does everybody else think that way? All right. Later.